Mark here again, cooking the books with a whole new meaning. Uh, I want to talk about alchemy, right? And uh, those who practice in the uh, the arts of alchemy would consider alchemist. And the the the, uh, the basic belief in alchemy is that you can take a base material and convert it or transmute it into gold or silver. Uh, that's one, and then two, uh, concoct an elixir that retains youth health and overall life these were forms of chemist or chemistry that the alchemists practiced and sought for now interestingly enough in in days of old when they practiced this there wasn't enough information around or technology or knowledge so the alchemist they failed in this they never they never got the elixir or the philosopher's stone which was uh c considered to be something that can perform or produce these two these two these two beliefs but interestingly ironically enough in the uh search and uh quest for the the the, the, the practice the alchemy ironically enough it was always occurring around them but because they didn't have the information or the technology or the knowledge they failed to realize that transmutation which is what alchemy is all about took place around them naturally in terms of what's called radioactivity the radioactivity of certain elements by na in its very nature meant transmutation it meant exactly what the alchemist sought now fast forward to today we know that there is nuclear reactors out there devices that can be used to actually transmute or to change uh, one element into another element uh, so the the reason why I want to talk about that is because how the, the question now is I don't know about you but my goal in life is to be the best version of myself so the question is how do I convert how do I transmute which equates or is, is the equivalent of changing my nature into a higher nature a higher state again radioactivity in essence the definition of radioactivity is transmutation to change in uh, for one element into another element a couple of examples are uh, uranium can be transmuted into thorium and uh, carbon can be transmuted into nitrogen uh, hydrogen can be transmuted into helium and so on and so forth so there is a uh, transmutation that takes place within the periodic table with se within several elements so the alchemists they were onto something they just didn't have all the information uh because of th their primitive their primitive uh state that they were in but today with the technology and the advancements that we've made we can see that they were they were in the right direction so the question today is how do we transmute or how do we uh, convert ourselves into higher into higher beings, our higher selves or better version of ourselves? Well, in order what the alchemists didn't have or didn't understand what we what we do have today is the knowledge that for science to convert one element into another. They place elements into devices called nuclear reactors, nuclear reactors, and the nuclear reactors, uh, the process is that the element is bombarded with uh, fundamental particles called neutrinos or neutrons. And in this process of bombardment, the element actually changes its, uh, its atomic nucleus, right? Uh, every element has what's called an atomic number. The atomic number determines the element. If that number is either is changed either by subtraction or ad and or addition, the element either changes to a higher state or a lower state. So uh, again, carbon has a number atomic number of six, and uh, if you add a number to that, it becomes a seven, and the element transmute into nitrogen. And so the interesting, the process, though, is that there must be a bombardment. And in order for transmutation to take place, the, uh, the, the, it, the temperature must be extremely high within the nuclear reactors and uh, the pressure must be extremely high as well. So this is how uh, transmutation takes place 
uh, it's called artificial transmutation or induced radioactivity. Because again, radioactivity transmutation is synonymous, right? Uh, so you can have induced, which is artificial, or you can have the natural uh, radioactive decay, which, which is a natural process that occurs spontaneously. I mentioned that in my previous radioactivity video. So all of this is is uh, important because again what the alch the information the alchemist didn't have we do have and that is transmutation can only take place in terms of uh, in terms of uh, high pressure and high temperature environments and how th what that means for me personally is that uh, discipline you know I have to exact a certain amount of discipline on myself if I want to be converted and transmuted to my higher and better self. Uh, I have to exert, uh, you know, the, the high temperature and uh, the high temperature and, a, you know, the heated environment would mean not necessarily putting myself into a nuclear reactor. That's just foolish. You would kill yourself. But you, you put yourself through certain disciplines, uh, certain practices, whether it's meditation or uh, abstaining from certain things, whether it's sex, uh, food, uh social settings you 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 deny yourself of of some of these things in order to uh enact the uh actual conversion within the nuclei the the nucleus of the element now if you and I are the element and uh you have to look at it allegorically the way I'm explaining it because an atom has a nucleus if 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 we look at the atom as allegorical then you and I are the atom if we look at the nuclei as allegorical the nuclei would be the the, the center of the atom, the center of the atom for you and I would be our heart, not necessarily the organ, but the innermost parts of who we are, the, 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 uh, the depth of what we are, who we are, your, your, your spirit being. Uh, so there must be a, uh, a transmutation or a change in the nuclei of the atom for that atom to create a product or an isotope, which is a version of itself, but at a higher or heavier state. So for you and I to convert ourselves to a higher, a higher self, higher being, higher state, we have to change uh, our uh, atomic number, which would be our heart, right? Which would be our innermost part. So we'd have to start by uh, really, again, put the pressure on ourselves, uh, create the heated environment, the heated temperature on ourselves by restraining, restricting, uh, having the... Uh, authority, having the wherewithal to go and 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 enjoy yourself and revel, but yet not doing it, right? You have complete uh, access to go and revel, but yet you restrain yourself. That is a form of high pressure or a heated environment because you're actually denying yourself of something that everything inside of you wants to do, but you deny and you suppress that, or not suppress, but modify and alter that and manipulate that and in so doing, you're actually uh, spurring on the process of, of transmutation because uh, we all transmute by radioactivity over time. I mentioned that in my last video. So the question is not if you're going to change. It's just what you're going to change into because transmutation, radioactivity, uh, we have what's called radionuclides, right? So uh, radionuclides are uh, the... the, the or a result of the stuff we eat. For instance, bananas have a lot of potassium, potassium-40, which is uh, highly radioactive. Vegetables have uh, uh, radioactive elements as well. Uh, the carbon, the air that we breathe, there's carbon in the air that we breathe, So we, which is uh, uh, highly uh, radioactive as well. So we have radionuclides as a result of these things, and I mentioned this before. So it's not a question of if you're going to change. Also, uh, looking at it uh, allegorically again, the process within the nuclear reactor, which is the environment that spurs the actual conversion, is is the word I'd like to focus on: bombardment. Bombardment meant m e n t. Uh, if you look at its root meaning in Latin, it means mind. Right, the word m e n t. It comes from the the Latin, which means mind. We all know what bombardment means. So. When you look at it allegorically, again, bombardment with uh, fundamental uh, particles on the element causes the, the nuclei atomic change in the number value. So 
when when we're bombarded by life, right? Our minds are bombarded by particular situations in life. Then what what happens is you begin to radioactivate. It's called radioactive decay, gamma, beta, or uh, uh, alpha. And I discussed that in my previous video. So again, the question is not if you're going to change. You have also you have artificial which is induced radioactivity or induced uh, transmutation, artificial transmutation, and you have natural transmutation, uh, which is organic. So you got to remember, whether you want to change or not, it's a natural process that occurs in chemists in our uh, electrochemical systems because we're electrochemically engineered. So it's a natural process that your, your chemicals are going to uh, transmute. The question is, will you be in the driver's seat to help uh, guide, instruct, and uh, direct the, the, the transmutation, which is the change? Or do you hands off and let the vehicle go in whichever direction it wants to go, which is the vehicle is you, your body? So, again, let's, let's, uh, let's stay focused and let's, let's, let's be our better, you know, best version of ourselves. Till next time, y'all know what I'm going to be doing, cooking these books, bringing you the information. Peace.